Hey, how's it going? This is Rob from Justin's Toys, and today I'm going to teach you how to make some snails. Yay! So, these are four snails that I've made. Um, this is actually the first one I ever made. I crocheted this, and I discovered Ellen Carpenter, or Feeling Spiffy's way of making the star, which definitely helped and perfecting the ease of the design. But, fair warning, it still is a very difficult charm, if you want to call it that. And you have to conceptually understand how to loom and be very advanced. So, let's get started. Okay, so to set up your loom, you're gonna need just a regular loom. That's three bar pins, a large base and a small base. And the first thing you wanna do is grab your first bar pin. I'm right-handed, so this first bar pin I'm gonna grab is gonna point in the opposite direction of the hand that I write with. So since I'm right-handed, it's pointing towards the left. And I'm gonna place it as close to the center of that center row of pegs on that large base. Then I'm gonna take my other bar pin and have it facing the same direction as my center bar pin, which is towards the left, and align it perfectly with that other bar pin and place it on that top row on that large base. Okay? Now the other, the last bar pin is going to go on that bottom row on that large base, but in the opposite direction. So instead of having the arrows pointing towards the left, it is going to point towards the right, just like that. Okay, now you want to secure both ends of the loom with the small bases. And if you're right-handed, your setup should look just like this. If you're left-handed, the arrow should just point in the opposite direction. Okay, now that we have our loom set up, we want to choose the colors of our snail shell because this setup is for the shell itself and I'm gonna match this shell right here so the spiral is gonna be rainbow and then the actual shell itself will be gray and you want to grab the first color of your spiral mine being rainbow and place it right here so it's gonna be the second peg in from the right on that second row, okay? And you're gonna connect it to the peg in front of it, like that. And basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply a single band all the way down here, coming around this corner, going back down, then bringing it up, and then going all the way down here ending it with the cap band on these two pegs. So I'm just going to do that really fast. You can fast forward through this if you get it. Okay, so this last band right here, we are going to cap. So this pink one, we're capping it and placing it on here. Okay, so all of these bands are single, regularly placed, and this last one is capped. All right, I'm just going to push down on all these bands because we will eventually be putting bands on top. So at this point we can do the same. Alright, now where this cap band ends 
is where you're going to start putting your actual shell color. So what you want to do is grab one single shell color band, place it like this on these two pegs, and then take another shell color band, just push down, and place it like this. Okay? Then you want to grab another shell color band, mine being gray, and you want to triple cap it and place it on top of this peg right here. So you take your hook, you go in through the loop, and you bring it back, kind of against your skin is the easiest way. Pull the hook back through the loop and push in, so now it's an eight, and bring it against your skin again, and then bring it through that loop. And that is a triple cap band. Grab three ends with your hand, have the other hand with the hook, just like that, and place it on top of this peg right here, on top of those other two grays. Okay? Now this is going to be kind of like a starburst. We're going to go in front of that triple cap band and grab this top gray, which is right here, and bring it back to itself. So again, in front of that triple cap band, grab just that top gray, nothing else, which is this band. Get around these corners then bring it up and over itself and then do the same exact thing with this one. Get in front of that triple cap, grab just that gray, get around these corners and bring it up and over itself. Okay? Now that you have that done you want to grab these two ends of this gray band right here and bring it around on top of this. So you're kind of going to swing it around, but the first thing you need to do is remove this triple cap. Do it very carefully. Maybe hold on to these and then pull this triple cap one behind this peg. Then you're going to pull these off and then wrap this around, bringing it up to this peg. Okay, so I have those two ends of that gray. I'm rotating my hook to face away from the tension, and I'm gonna bring it over this peg right here. Make sure you have both ends on top of this peg. Okay, so if you did it right, you should have the cat band right here, then a teardrop shape over here and a teardrop shape over here. And at this point, you can go in front of these two grays, grab that end of that cap band. You wanna hold on to this gray cap band out a little bit and you wanna bring this cap band up and over. So as you can see, this cat band, this rainbow cat band, is holding on to two ends of the gray. And once I do that, I can let go. And this is where the looping comes in, where it gets a little tricky. Next, you want to grab a gray, and you want to put it in on top of this peg right here, which is where the grays end, just like that. You want to go inside this triple cap band with your hook like this. Have the hook facing down and fish for this triple cap. I mean, for this gray right here. Okay? But as you can see, I'm only inside two of the ends of the cap band. You want to make sure you're inside all three. So I'm going back in. As you can see, I'm inside all three and I'm going to fish for that single gray, bring it through, and then bring it up and over that same peg, just like that. And once you do that, 
then you can go inside this peg right here go in front of all of the bands except this bottom red so as you can see I'm going in front of all of these bands grabbing that bottom red get around those corners on that peg pull it out and then go up and over okay once you have all these bands on here you can relieve some tension by releasing the bands on this peg just like that and you're gonna do the same thing all over again you're taking a single band putting it on this peg that's in front of that last gray then going back into that triple cat band have your hook facing down fish for that one gray you could use your hand to help just like that and bring it out through bring it over and bring it over that peg just like that once you did that you want to go in front of all of these bands that are on this center peg grab just that bottom fuchsia bring it up get around those corners and over that peg and once you did that you can release all of the bands on this last peg alright so I'm just gonna do that like three more times and a different angle just take one gray put it there again identify that triple cap which is right here go in fish for that single gray okay then pull it out bring it up and over and on this one you want to go in front of all of these bands and grab just that purple from the bottom bring it around those corners up and over and then you want to release all of these bands okay again just one gray get into that triple capped fish for it bring it out through that triple cap over itself and get in front of all of these bands As you can see I'm in front of all the bands except that bottom rainbow bring it up and over then you can release these sometimes it's good to hold on to all the bands here just so that it doesn't accidentally slip off all right so now I'm just gonna go at a faster pace with no talk fast forward Okay, so I hit this corner, and this is where we're going to start going on to that second set of spiral. So this is where it's no longer that first circle. 
we are going to start going out on the outside. So this one will do normally, but the next one is going to be a little different. Also because we're on the corner. Alright, so fish for it. Bring it up and over. And we're going to go in front of all of these, except that bottom orange. Bring that up and over and let this go. Okay, so next we're also going to put just one gray here. But instead of going inside this triple cap gray band, you are going to identify the bands that that first cap band is holding. So my first cap band was this pink. You're going to go inside these two grays right here that are being grabbed by the that cat pink band. Go inside there and then fish for that gray. Bring it through that loop, up and over. And just like before, again, we're going in front of all of these bands and just grabbing that bottom pink, I believe. In front of all of those bands, just grab that pink, get around that corner. It might if you if you pull, it might make it easier for the, you to pull this out. Bring it up and over, and then you can release these. Okay. Next, one gray on this peg. Again, we're not going in the triple cap. We're identifying the two grays on this next band. So whatever is on the center of this cat band, you're grabbing those two. Make sure it's only the grays and not the pink as well. Just like that. Grab that single gray, pull it through, up and over, up. and again we're going in here, but we're going in front of all of these bands, and grabbing just that red, bringing it up and over this peg, and we could release these. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing over and over, again not in that triple cap, but on these two grays that are on that next band on the outside of the spiral, fish for it, bring it up and over. And go into this peg and grab just the bottom fuchsia. But go in front of all the other bands. Alright. Then remove all of the bands on this last peg. Alright, so we're basically repeating that step all the way around until we no longer have any bands and we reach this peg right here. Alright, so the two grays get in, fish for that single gray, pull it out, through, bring it up and over, and get into this peg right here, get in front of all those bands and just grab that purple. Put that one there, let go of this, pull this, grab the two grays, right there, then grab that single gray, bring it up and over, and in front of all these bands, bring it up, pull off, gray right there. Grab these two grays, fish 
fish for that. Bring it up and over. Get in front of all these bands. Grab just the turquoise. Bring it up. Let go. Grab one gray. Get in front of these two grays. Fish for it. Bring it up and over. Get in front of all these bands. Grab that teal. Up and over. Okay. Fast forward. <laughs> Now that I reach this corner, this top bar pin is no longer useful, so I'm just going to pull it off. That way I can get in easier on these pegs right here. Okay, so next gray over that peg. Okay, so we're at our last one right here, this red. And what we're gonna do is, we don't need to add a gray here. We're just gonna bring that red one up and over. So get in front of all of the bands on this peg right here. And just grab that red from the bottom, put it on top just like that. And once it's like that, you wanna go back in right here inside of this top red and grab the bottom red 
and bring it around just like that. And we're just creating a slip knot right here. Pull that off that peg and pull on this a little bit tighter. We'll hold on to this and then remove all the bands on the remaining pegs. Once you have it off, just pull and that is going to create that slip knot you want. And this part right here is where the snail is actually going to go through and it's going to act kind of like a leash. Okay? So that is the completed shell, as you can see. Okay, so next we want to set up our loom so we can make the snail itself or the slug part. And for my slug, it's going to be this color, peach, and my antlers are going to be brown, this brown. So you just want to set up your loom so that you can make a regular fishtail. You don't have to use the loom. You could use a mini loom or you could use the monster tail. Basically just need two pegs side by side. And you're making a three banded classic band. So we're going to start off with our slug color. Grab three bands and place them on those two pegs as a figure eight, just like that. Then you want to grab another three bands and place them regularly on top, just like that. And then you want to loop those bottom three bands up and over. Okay, so there's the first one. And you want to do this another five times. So that's already two. So five more times after this, you're doing the same exact thing. Three bands on top, and bring those three bands on the bottom up and over. Okay, push down, grab three bands on top. Just like that. Grab those three bands on the bottom, up and over. Push down and grab another three bands. Place them on top. Up and over. Push down. Three bands on top. Grab those three. Grab those three. Push down. And this is going to be the last one that I'm putting on before we start attaching it to the shell. Up and over. Up and over. Okay, so now that you have the slug part up to this point, seven sets, you want to grab your shell and recognize where that slip knot is and have that slip knot kind of on the bottom. You want to recognize this little gap right here and place it right in between this first set of pegs and the second set of pegs. And we are going to be stitching on these peach bands. So what you want to do is you want to grab two sets of bands just like this. Get in front of these two reds and get in front of these two neon greens or whatever colors you have and fish for it again. Pull it through and apply this band on top of this peg and apply this band on top of this peg. Okay, then you want to push down. You want to grab another slug color band. I wrap it around this peg first like that. Then grab, get in front of one set of rainbow bands just like that. Pull it through. Just 
just like that. And then while holding onto this, get in front of another set over here. Grab that peach again, pull it through. And then you want to do that one more time. So I'm going to go through these two right here, just like that. Hold on to it. Just grab one end of that peach, bring it through, and bring it over. Okay? So now that you have three sets stitched, you can bring up those bottom three, bring it up and over, grab those bottom three and bring it up and over and pull down and one last time you want to grab three bands put it on top and bring those three bands on the bottom up and over okay now kind of like a regular fishtail you just want to grab one band place it on top bring up two bands this time any two it doesn't matter so that there's only two bands left there's one and there's two push down then put one band on top Just bring the bottom band up, bottom band up, push down, and bring the bottom band up again. So you could have brought those two up. Now you want to take this band, this last remaining band, and bring it up and over so that it's also on this peg and then we want to create a slip knot so we're going in front of that top band and grabbing that bottom band from underneath pulling it and tightening it to create that slip knot right there okay now we can pull this out and there is the snail part attached to the shell. Now you want to take this part right here and pull it through that leash. Okay. I also like to take this part right here and also put it through the leash. So that just creates double the uh, likeliness that it will not fall off and we are almost done I'm just gonna pull this up a little just so that it straightens out now we just have to apply the eyes alright so now that we have the snail complete what we want to do is apply the antenna and we are going to do that by taking a bar pin, putting a large base in the center, and you want to pick your antenna colors. Mine are going to be caramel. Place one band from the first to second peg, push down, and one band on top again. Push down. Then you want to go into your snail, and you'll notice at the front of the snail there is a clear division there should be three bands that are leaning towards the right and three bands that are leaning towards the left because this was that original three crossed bands or eights that we applied and you want to pull it to the side and notice that there's three bands over here that go to the top and three bands over here that go to the bottom you want to go in with your hook and you want to grab those three bands 
that are on the top. Just like so. And you want to take these three bands and apply them onto that second peg. Okay, so I'm holding on to this. Now I want to go in front of these three bands and grab this caramel from inside. Get around those corners and then bring it up and over itself. All right. So now it's going to look like a teardrop. And you want to push down on that lower part of that band. You want to go in and get in front of that top band or that top end and get behind that bottom end and pull that bottom end up and through. Once you have it, hold on to this with your left hand and pull this off and create a slip knot right there. Okay? Once you do that, again, now I'm going to pull this to the side. We are going to go in front of all of these bands again and just grab that bottom caramel, get around these corners, bring it up and over. Then you want to go back into this peg in front of this band, grab that bottom band, bring it up and around. Hold on to this and then let go of this and create another knot right there. Okay, now we can just pull this off. And as you can see, those are the two eyes. What I like to do is I like to take one of these bands, the front one of these three, and I bring it up. I pull that left, that right antenna through like that. And then the same with the other side. I just get inside one of the peach bands, grab the antenna, and pull it through. Okay? And that usually seems to be the neatest method. Then you can just pull forward a little bit. You can fidget around just to make it neater, but that I think is the easiest way to do it. And there you have it. That is the completed snail. Which one is the fastest snail? Oh, I can, I'm going to beat you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. You am not. Yes, I am. You am not. Yes, I am. You am not.